I've been reading your emails again. I'm getting lots of them now. If you want to join the mailing list and ask your question, there's a link below in the description. But here's a great letter from Laura, a great question. For me, my biggest challenge, she says, is balancing my desire to make grand, time-consuming and detailed projects with my desire for instant gratification. I often end up making small one or two day projects just to scratch that itch and put off working on the big stuff. What's she gonna do about this? What would you do? What would you tell Laura to do? I have a little experience on this. Um, let me go and sh get something to show you. This is something I made 10 years ago called the oak leaf dress, well that's what I call it. It's a recreation of a Worth gown. You may have seen it on my Instagram. So let me tell you a bit about how this came into being. There is a free article I wrote all about this dress on uh, my website. There is, a, there is a link below to that. And it covers how to tackle grand projects like this in great detail. But I will summarize here in a few minutes for you. Um, so first of all, the first thing I did with this project was I picked something that I absolutely adored. I, you have to absolutely love it if you're going to make something grand and time consuming and epic. So first of all, be careful what you pick. It has to be something you absolutely love and um, you just have to see it real in the world. You have this vision that you have to see it real. Secondly, I made myself accountable by telling everybody I was gonna do it. I started posting pictures, I went to the museum to see the original dress and posted all about that. So all the time I was making sure I was using, one of the positive uses of social media is that you can make yourself accountable. I am going to do this. And then not only does it keep you accountable in the sense of um, everybody's going to ask you where you are up to with it. It also amplifies the excitement because once you share your enthusiasm for the subject, then everybody else is going to be like, oh my God, oh, I've always wanted to see somebody do that. I've always wanted to do that. Oh, I'm so great, so great that you're going to do it. And, you know, I can't wait to see it done. So everybody gets very excited. I can't keep my hands off this because I still love it so much 10 years later. This is, this is what I mean about a project you love. So firstly, pick something you really love. Secondly, make yourself accountable by telling other people about it. It can be on social media. It can be just your friends and family in real time, but make yourself accountable. Tell people why you're going to do it. Tell them why you're excited. Tell them why this project, and that will get you going as well. Thirdly, and here's where it gets interesting in terms of exactly what Laura said. She talked about instant gratification. She puts off the grand time consuming projects and does smaller one or two day projects instead for the instant gratification. Now, here's where it gets clever because you can do, you can do both. I'll, you'll see in the article how I broke this down. I broke this right down into daily, into daily, and hourly goals. So I had something to look forward to all the time. And also it was a big scary project, so breaking it down into constituent parts made it easier to tackle. So to take the most obvious example, all of these, all of this embroidery, all of these oak leaves, I'll just put it in front of my face so you can't hear me. All of these oak leaves are individually hand sewn. So let me show you, can you see this? So I bought the fabric plain drew the pattern on with pencil which is what which is what worth did you can see pencil lines or what looked like pencil lines on the original dress and this is a cord is that focusing this is a cord and yarn that are outlining each leaf so what i had to do was draw the pattern on and then sew like couch the cord down over each over each uh, pencil line. So I'm just sewing over it. Well, the, with the cord, I'm sewing through the back of it. With the yarn, I'm sewing over and over it because it's fluffy, so the thread disappears. And then at the ends, you're poking it through the fabric like this, which is what I could see on the original dress. So there are 420 leaves on this dress. 
420 oak leaves and some of them are even cut out with silk net behind them which is which looks amazing when it's worn so you can see my hands behind it there so how the heck was i ever going to get my head around sewing 420 oak leaves well first of all accountability i posted progress every day as i sometimes do on instagram now with my projects so everybody could cheer me on and that really really helped but also i didn't aim to sew 420 oak leaves i aimed to sew six oak leaves every day because i knew how long i had because i was making this for costume college i knew that i had about three months um and that if i sewed every morning of every weekday for three months I would have to sew six leaves per day. So each leaf took about three quarters of an hour, 45 minutes. So I had not only a goal every morning of sewing six leaves, but it also meant I broke it down even further into every 45 minutes I aimed to finish a leaf. So it made it so much more doable and actually easy to do. I didn't ever feel like I wanted to give up or go and do something else because my goal for the day, six leaves a day, six leaves a day, six leaves a day. And it, it didn't allow me to get overwhelmed with the size of the project as well because I didn't have to focus on the enormity of the project. All I had to think about was six leaves a day, six leaves a day. So that was how I got it done. And I felt like at the time, um, people were praising me on what, a, what an extraordinary achievement it was but it actually didn't feel like that big of a deal to me because all I'd done was six leaves a day, six leaves a day, six leaves a day and I'd left myself enough time at the weekend notice how I left in buffer time so if I did six leaves a day five days a week then I was good if I didn't quite get six leaves a day done then I would do the others at the weekend and catch up before next week started. So it's just a matter of planning. And if you want to tackle a big project, but you feel like it's overwhelming, it's a case of breaking it down. Just breaking it down into little uh, little constituent parts, little, um, little stages. Little stages where you can feel a sense of achievement, even in just one little thing. And on this, it was just fantastic to see the oak leaves slowly growing across the whole dress and that made it rewarding it made every single leaf was rewarding so it didn't feel that hard i was excited the whole time because it just kept growing and it was like wow this is really going to happen so that is my advice as i say go and look at that article if you're thinking about starting an ambitious project go and look at that article and it will tell you in much more detail exactly how I broke it down. And yeah, I love it. I still love it. And in fact, you're going to see an even bigger project soon because this, you know how I always say that each project is a mock-up for the next project? This was totally a mock-up for another project that it's taken much longer to do and hopefully we've got a new lead and that will come to fruition soon, fingers crossed. So stay tuned for a really big project. And tell me below, tell me in the comments about what ambitious project you would like to try. What I call your holy grail project. What is the project that you would do if you knew you couldn't fail or if you knew you had all of the skills and resources you needed and all of the willpower and all of the motivation to see it through, what would you try? Tell me below.